Here is, let's play a clip of uh, that Kelly Leffler. She, um, she debated um, uh, Raphael Warnock uh, last night, I think it was, Sunday night, Sunday night, last night uh, in uh, Georgia. And um, she, you know, she, she basically, I, I don't know, I saw a clip of, of her um, saying uh, the radical liberal Raphael Warnock over and over and over again. And this is, you know, this is what they're trying to do. It's unclear. Again, I, you know, there's not a lot of data about like these type of runoff elections in terms of like debates and how that's going to influence it. It's very hard to assess because you're not quite clear on who you're talking to uh, because it's not a general election. You're not going to have high turnout. And you wonder, you know, how many of those non high turnout people are going to watch a debate anyways but and the polling uh, between leffler and purdue is so different based on um you know how georgians feel about both i mean purdue has a way better chance than leffler and so I don't it's know. very I mean, hard to gauge i don't know from the polling that he has a way better chance but he has uh he, he's he is you know um doing better than leffler he did better in the initial election and part of it was because leffler was appointed a, she's never been elected. B, she ran against a Trumper uh, in Doug Collins. And so it's hard and C, to see. She has the charisma of a blank sheet of paper, which is kind of what we see here. <laughs> Let's uh, watch this clip. Um, what's also interesting, she also has some uh, some of her own day trading uh, problems, as it were. It's uh, uh, being a little bit uh, facetious, but she does have some trading issues. She also apparently oversees um, a uh, committee that uh, where uh, they um, oversee some of what her, her husband does, who I think is like the, the chair of the, um, well, which uh, stock exchange? New York Stock Exchange. New she York stock the, exchange. They have a $300 million uh, net worth or something like that. And she uses her private plane to fly the campaign events. So lady of the people. There we go. And here she is um, uh, during this debate. Question. Senator, should members of Congress be barred from trading stocks? Look, what's at stake here in this election is the American dream. That's what's under attack. When they attack me for a lie, a left-wing media lie conspired with the Democrats by, this is an attack on every single Georgian who gets up every day to work hard to provide a better life for their family who wants to live the American dream. Uh, a reminder, the question was, should senators be allowed to make stock trades? Wow. And now, of course, how many Georgians sitting around their kitchen table going, sweetheart, if, uh, if our senator is not allowed to make use of the inside information they're going to get to trade stocks, I, I don't know how we're going to put uh, food on our table. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, she can't answer that question because that would defeat the whole purpose of her candidacy. She's there to enrich herself and her husband. And so they can get their second private jet to fly around the country to. I, I did wonder, you know, I wondered out loud, how is she able to be married to the guy who's the head of the New York Stock Exchange if they live in Georgia? Do they actually live in Georgia? The answer is, oh, they fly on the private jet back and forth so they can see their uh, their spouses. That's the kind of down home Georgian that she's trying to portray herself as. There you go. Um, and by the way, she infamously was in trouble for, I think eventually it was, uh, the charges were scuttled away, but she was being investigated for insider trading and using the information that she received in coronavirus briefings to sell certain stock and made millions off of it by many calculations so if that isn't the number one that's her home i believe from what i've read that was the uh the priciest home bought in the atlanta area ever in tuxedo park the priciest yeah. home in tuxedo park wow i'm going to uh i mean it was on her wow. wikipedia page which i which i skimmed the other day that's let me just home? say yeah Dang. look at that pool <laughs> first off like what I, this is what i don't understand why do people who have that kind of money, I'm sorry, but I look at that house, put that back up there. It I was the, the most expensive is... residential real estate transaction ever recorded in Atlanta. A $10.5 million, 15,000 square foot home 
I'm state sorry, but isn't named that, is that Desconte. house? Is it me or is that house just not? I don't find that house. To, I mean, that's it well, that's because you're odd. a coastal elite, Sam. You you spit on you know people, normal billionaires. Yeah, normal billionaires South. like to that like to yeah do vague approximations of French architecture. <laughs> I was gonna say that looks right. like that looks like um, the 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 guy who planned Versailles. Um, you know, like cousin who just didn't make it yeah it's like yeah gianni versace's um kind of un untalented niece went into Although, agriculture or architecture and this is what she came up with is that a forever pool what is that an infinity that's like where pool. You, infinity, oh, pool. infinity pool infinity pool like that's where you you go up to the side and you yeah, can't yeah. see the side of it that, that that's pretty sweet i just wonder what they're looking at though on the other side um just a well, pile of cash Folks, by all means, uh, become a member of the show because uh, I have <laughs> <laughs> the new goal. Because Sam wants a forever pool. I want that uh, infinity pool no. uh, right there.